what I'm gonna need for today's dinner. Uh, cheddar, ground meat. This is butterfly crescents. I'm gonna use it for do some empanadas. Had tomato, onions, potato, and green pepper. Or both jalapeno. And now it's time to take off my ring off. What? Why do you yes. need to take it off? It's because I don't like it to mess up. It moves a lot when I'm cooking, like cutting the tomatoes and stuff like that. So I usually always like take them off before cooking and washing dishes. Okay. Just for a few moments or more. Do you ladies take off your ring too every time you cook? I'm just curious. Or jealous. No, no, curious. Yellows? What are you doing? You playing with the food? Yeah. Husband helping.
and then tomatoes, pepper. What else? We're gonna prepare the crescent. So, don't do it at home. I think it's right here. This is the thing that I scare. I'm very scared of this one because when it pops, always scare me. And I always had trouble because it's not easy how it seems. Maybe I'm not strong enough. But it will open. <laughs> that was scary. Ugh. And then... Okay, this one is going to be very easy to use instead of doing all the... All the, the flour and all that stuff. This one is more easy. It's already cut it. It already has... Okay. We're gonna make it like triangles like this. Open a little bit more like this so we can put the meat inside and the cheese and then we cross we close it. There you go. Okay, this is gonna be the triangles for my well actually it's gonna be like croissants. Fill out with ground meat and potato. Empanada? Like empanada. Do you know they have like not? different names? What do they have? Like, I usually call it, well, my grandma used, used to make, um, the name it was, one is empanadas, the other one is pachucos. My grandma used to make pachucos, but that are different. They're like round. These ones are going to be croissants because it's going to be rolled like a croissant. But I do like empanadas and pachucos. One day I'm going to make you pachucos. What's pachucos? Pachucos is like a flower. Well, it's not the flower, but it's kind of flower thing that you do it. And then you put the meat inside, and then you close, you close it, and then you fry it. Like empanadas. But in Mexico, they always have different kind of names for everything. Like, it depends the the place or the city. Okay.
Makan natin. That is it. some steam rice that's my husband favorite he can eat rice like every single day he doesn't get tired of it I put butter on it because I do like a little bit of flavor on the rice so I'm already used it to white rice but mine with butter do you like butter on your rice no let me show you what I like on my rice That's for our next day, Amor. I like seaweed on my rice. <laughs> next time, Amor. Next time. What's the next step? The next step was to wait on the potato to cook. The, the meat is already cooked. It's the only the potato that has to be more soft. So I can put on the croissants. So let me put a little bit more higher temperature to make it faster. Mm. And maybe I can get rid of the cheese on the present. I'm gonna put some cheese. This is my husband's favorite. He has he likes this brand a lot. He said it's more creamy. I like Mexican cheese better, but everybody's different. Okay. We're gonna have a cheesy meat croissant. Some white rice. What do you think the next thing will be that you cook? Well, I'm thinking about fish. I want to do the fry, the, okay. I'm gonna cook more on the air fryer. I'm gonna see what is the taste look like, like the taste if it's different or not. This year I wanna cook more healthy. Less greasy food, because husband doesn't like greasy food. But Mexicans, like greasy food. Oh, that's why. Husband is gonna try the flavor. Mm. Is it spicy? No, it's not spicy at all. Okay. There's mm -hmm. a small, small hint of spice. Okay. Yeah, that's good flavor. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have leftovers for lunch. Like what?
this in the potato to be done and then this one is going to the next is next is the meat I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna put the meat I think I'm gonna cut like a little Tiny crescent. This is my first time trying the fryer, well, air fryer. I'm pretty excited. I never used it one before. We usually just dip it on, on oil. I want to see it's too like if the flavor is the same or it change. It could well of course it's gonna change because it's not gonna have oil. But like I said, we're used to cook with with a lot of oil.
this is what is called those uh pig on a blanket pig in a blanket yeah well this is a ground meat on a blanket This takes a lot of time. It's just like a better microwave. All right, stick it in. Yes. Press the store. I think it's three. No, it is four. Three seventy-five. Three. Temperature three seventy. Wait. Yes. Three seventy. Yeah. And timer. I just need. Uh, Press. Hmm? It's heating. It's 12 minutes. Yeah, 12 minutes. And then temperature already 70. Then it's dark. Okay. Yeah, are you done? The rice. Ah! That's it. <laughs> Trick. The rice is ready. <laughs> Dry your hands because the dog oh, is yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, you can mm -hmm. just put it on that. Yeah, it's all this clean. It's basically a, yeah. a rock. Mm -hmm. It's marble. Yeah, which is a rock. Yeah. Oh, that's so cut. See, it's pre-cut. If yeah. you didn't have one that was pre-cut, you can make any shape you want. Well, I can make. You can always just like put it, just like it. make it to a solid. Or just like. Oh, Kai says you can just massage it back together. Yeah. How you make empanadas? So we're gonna try it to make the empanada. Just bend it more. Yeah, Is yeah. that gonna be? Let's <laughs> check. No. It's too tiny. Okay, need a bigger mouth. I think it can actually. It's pretty thick. Just need to smash it more. Oh, is that a bigger mouth? I don't know. Check it out this hole. Yeah, it's. Yeah. Hold up. Not much. Not that much. That's it. Oh, my nice cups. Yeah, don't break it. You press too hard, it'll break. It gets smaller one. Can you just stretch it out? Trying to. Surely we have a bigger cup. Oh, that one you can stretch. Mm -hmm. Put the two and then. Okay. Put the cheese in the middle. Or more. This, this one? More. Too much meat. Squish it, squish it, squish it, squish it, squish it all the way. Yeah. And then close it. The dough's going off the side. So, as long as it closes and connects. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. It's connected? Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's very sticky. But I need some. Take it up? Yeah. Take it. Oh, dang it. Okay. 
Can I press it again? There you go. It's not bad. You need it on both sides. Now you can just rub flour all over this. Yeah. Yeah. So, are they supposed to be that dark? I don't know. No, they're just crunchy. This is our first time using the air fryer. So, with the top, we're gonna get better. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click like. Alright, bye guys. Good night. Here we go again. My turn to wash dishes. It was delicious. The fish on the new air dryer. <laughs> okay, never mind.